Uh, Republican Representative Cliff Stearns of Florida is a leader in the anti-abortion movement in Congress. He joins us now from Washington. Um, hi, Congressman. Can you hear us? All right. I can hear you, Phil. Right. Yeah. Incidentally, um, uh, Ms. Shaffley just mentioned the point about um, ultrasound. Yes. You want ultrasound in every what? Well, we like to have it in not-for-profit organizations and um, any of the clinics that are advising women about abortion because basically, Phil, we think it's a, a health benefit. Uh, you want them to see this baby in utero before, at the time that they're about to undergo an abortion procedure. Is that right? Well, I think it's useful for uh, the woman to see uh, through an ultrasound the unborn and think about it. It's just basically a health benefits is provided for the rich. Why not provide it for the poor? Well, but that's a, that's a bit of a finesse, Congressman. Well, no. Let me just let me just make the point, and then you'll tell me where I'm wrong. You want these women reclined on the abortion table, not on the abortion table, just uh, on the all right the, uh, somewhere in the sound machine. Right. Okay. Yeah, before they before they present themselves to be dilated and have the abortion procedure. Well, now this is well before that. This helps them in their decision process. Plus. It determines whether there's a pregnancy, uh, lots no, no, of perhaps that, that's a medical problem. That's a, that's a clinical reason. Well, there's you a lot of make them, You want to make them squeamish about the decision that they just made. Isn't well, that squeamish true? squeamish is uh, your word. What we'd like to do is provide information to the woman so she can make an educated decision. And I think uh, most women would like to see this, and uh, it's a health benefit, and that's, a, that's the way we're approaching it. Right. Do your constituents in your district in Florida, your, uh, what is the major main city in your district in Florida? Well, I have Gainesville with the University of Florida. I have Jacksonville, which is in north central Florida. So uh, it yeah. runs from Jacksonville down to just above Orlando. Right. And I assume you ran as an open uh, pro-life candidate. Well, I, uh, Phil, I've been in Congress 14 years. I have a 100% pro-life record. I'm proud of it. So. And, and they keep sending you back. Well, uh, here you are. And I would say to you that uh, Democrats, I could not be elected without Democrats, and it's a bipartisan. In fact, uh, Phil, all the bills you mentioned earlier yeah. all passed the House with bipartisan support. So this is Democrats and Republicans, and it's a bipartisan issue which uh, passed, uh, for the most part, overwhelming. Right. So uh, it's all not right. a partisan issue. Also with us is William Donahue, who wants you to know he's not related to me. Congressman, you wanted to say. Yeah. Um, Phil, there's something I'd like to uh, add here. The caller is talking about uh, uh, being tolerant. Um, he should realize that all the issues you talked about have passed the House overwhelming. And in fact, partial birth abortion. The House, not the Senate, let's be clear. I know, but. Oh, well, that's because Daschle wouldn't let him come to a vote. And uh, let me also point right. out that uh, the partial birth abortion passed 275 to 150. So. Well, that's, pars that's late term abortion. Uh, yes. But, yes, and, but that, the. Uh, the pro-choice uh, people see that as your wedge issue. You're going to get in with that, with all kinds of gruesome, gory detail. But and that's, that's the a wedge first step issue. toward the end of abortion rights. Phil, it, 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 Phil is the fact that uh, somebody is going to take a minor under 18 years old across state line to have abortion, right. is well, that no, a wedge issue? I think that's a clear I issue for the parents and the family and for the mother and father to decide. And the majority of people in the House voted just that way, so Lord. I don't think that's uh, yeah. radical. I, I have to break, and I promise okay. that you're going to all get in when we come back.